There's a reason why so many people cross 34th Street in East Sacramento. The building has been here. It's been a feed store since 1920. A reason why they flock to Western Feed and Pet Supply, a business that is open almost every day. 361, Monday through Sunday. And a reason why some come with a certain excitement. That would be Thursdays, yeah. Chick days. We get here like a little before eight to start opening up and there's usually some people waiting outside already. A weekly event. We got chickens. Yeah. When the mailman delivers a new batch of hatchlings. And they're peeping at the top of their lungs. It's hard to keep the chickens in stock. They sell out the day that we get the chicks. Last year was crazy. It was packed and some people took like 12 chickens home, six of each. Yeah, you'll get a line every week. And much of the fowl frenzy is being caused by the rising cost of eggs they produce. You know, I guess egg prices is, does have something to do with it because they're selling like crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add it to that. Miltos Apostolitas and his family started their chicken family two years ago behind his home on 59th Street. I know that one's Goldie. The kids know them all. I know two of them. Goldie and Cheap Cheap is hiding somewhere. They believe Cheap Cheap is helping to keep their grocery bill Cheap Cheap. I believe there's one in here. Sometimes we run out of eggs because they don't, they don't uh, produce year round, so then all of a sudden we have to go buy eggs and we're not aware of the prices until we get there and we're like, good Lord. I get the sound of that, huh? But my wife decided that we would get chickens. <laughs> and because Jason Casey is such a good husband, chickens now roam the family's second avenue backyard. We haven't really had to buy eggs since we, they started producing and we get about two or three per day. It usually takes about six months for these chickens to start laying eggs. No doubt it's nice to have a supply. Those are the leghorns? Yeah. But is it all that it's cracked up to be? And will it save you money? You could be saving money for your eggs, especially depending on how many eggs you eat. Most of the cost comes up front when the chicks are the most vulnerable. First thing you're going to want to get is a, a brooder lamp. You're going to need to get a bulb. We did the math. And for the first year, it'll cost you around $330. That includes the chicks a heat lamp, the most basic supplies for a hen house, and feed. The 330 would cost you more than buying a dozen eggs every week in California for a year. The average cost of a dozen in the state is $5. They're delicious. After the first year though, chicken owners could save more than $30 a year. I named it the Chick Inn because I thought that was a funny play on words. Casey's pen has a great name but it was low cost to build. It all comes down to how much you want to spend, and there's plenty of websites out there to give you ideas of how to make inexpensive coops. It's just about as, as big as you can have in the, in the city. The same can't be said for Apostolitis' creation. If it's hot in the summer, we have a little vent. Creating cozy confines for the chickens, complete with water misters and automatic feeders. Here you fill it up just in the beginning of the week, and as they peck through it, it comes down. I have a degree in architecture, I never used it, so I do dumb stuff like this. But for him, it's not all about the money. It's about teaching life's lessons to his own chicks. Our kids nowadays, they don't really, they, they can't follow us in our businesses, so this is chores, of course, and then this. Plus, they love the, they love the chickens. It's like, they love them better when they were chicks. Y'all ready to come home? For photojournalist Drew Falk. Thank you so much. Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. Oh yeah, it's all hands on deck. Get the kids involved. Well, if you're thinking about buying chickens, you do have a year to prepare. Western Feed and Supply tells us chick season just ended, but we'll start back up again in February.